So the first page that we're going to make is the privacy policy page. We're just going to click add new page and we're going to title it privacy policy. The path will be the section that follows the .com in the URL. And so we're just going to do privacy dash policy. So the domain for this page will be rurl.com slash privacy dash policy. And we're just going to click create. So if we already have existing pages and other websites, we can use those by clicking use existing and pointing to the website, or we can create from blank, which is what we'll do now. When starting with a blank page, you'll see something like this, and there's a little bit of a hierarchy to a page. At the top of the hierarchy is a section, and inside the sections will be rows, and inside the rows we can place elements. So first, we're going to start with a full width section. So now you can see that we have a section created. We're going to click Add Row, and we're going to do a one column row because we're just going to have simple text here. And now we're going to click Add Element, and we're going to start with a headline, which we'll just say Privacy Policy. Now to add another element, we're going to click on the plus and do Paragraph. Now we're simply just going to paste our Privacy Policy into this page. So now that we've pasted all the text of the privacy policy, we're just going to clean up the text a little bit. So on the right hand side, I'm going to click on left align. And now I can go through and make formatting changes, like making the section headers bold, creating some space between each section. And if I want to change the font size, I come over to the right and I can drag the font size up. Be sure to change all of the different placeholders in your privacy policy if applicable so that all of your business information is filled out. So go through and make any formatting and information changes necessary. And when you're done, up in the top, click Save. And then we'll get a prompt for SEO metadata. And so we'll want to fill this out so that search engines like Google know how to index our page. So for content, we'll just call it Privacy Policy. And you can see in the preview how it will show in search engines. And if we want to put a simple description and add any keywords or any other relevant SEO information, you can do so here. And once you're done, click Update, and then click Save again. We'll come back and publish after we connect the domain in a few more steps. 